So they said the hotel manager got to call us in order to, for them to refund our money. And we sitting up there like, you know, because you know, um, not everybody have $177 gift. Sometimes that could be your only life. That was our only last money, and we had nowhere to go. We would be outside. We would be outside. So I was livid. I was upset. But I had to try to, like, stay calm because I already started swelling. I already didn't feel good, and it's my birthday weekend. I'm a, I'm a, I'm upset. Oh, Trina, that's so cute. Oh, look. <laughs> and look, it says made with love. Yeah. Made with love, y'all. <laughs> All right. Testing one, two, one, two. It's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Hey, Skittle. So I never had a birthday party, y'all. You know, I'm just now acknowledging that I never had a freaking birthday party in my whole entire freaking life. I had to throw myself a birthday party. Oh, look how pretty. <laughs> That's so pretty. My grandmother, last words to me, don't look back and hear her voice. But you know, I didn't get that until I was in my 50s. Look, this is my English muffin. I'm with tuna. Yesterday I had it on, um, gluten. this is gluten-free English muffin and the bread was gluten-free. I do see, I, I did at one point say I'm not doing gluten-free bread no more. I was like, over it. But you know, you just have to keep trying to find something you like. You know what I mean? Y'all, I gotta give it the watermelon ranch. Betrayed me as as I was a child, and um, I think I I always think about I don't know why I always think about him because I feel like I never um, just got a sorry you know what I mean from from family members him nobody that kind of sucks that he haven't called me or texted me since Friday you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying but that 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 does sucks and I was like well. Um, and I don't want to take away from you. Maybe he's trying to surprise me because he's the type of person that likes surprises and stuff. Because I do want to be surprised. I do want to smile on my birthday. And I do want to feel like, wow, because I feel like I feel like this is my person. I'm his person. Like, I don't know what's happening. So I'm, I'm just like, God, why he need an eye? But it still look good. Wow, look at that, y'all. That looks so freaking smacking good. And it's chilling. Mm. Harlan at Checkers for looking out for us and having great customer service. That was just D bomb. That's a woman that you could see that will stick with that man to the end. She said, I will get on this ground outside, want to blow up there in a parking space that somebody put the parking car in. And I'm going to sleep out here with you. I am going to stay with you. I'm going to stay by your side. <laughs> I think after I was shocked, I howled. I think we travel at least three, four times out the month. And that's a lot. Because by the time you get back and rest, and by the time you get to where you're going and rest, the month is already over with. Hey, how many times we gonna say happy birthday until my birthday is over? Okay, <laughs> we supposed to celebrate a month. Happy birthday to Spirit! Happy birthday to Spirit! Happy happy birthday, dear Spirit! Happy birthday to you! Big girl's birthday weekend. So it's TGIF. This is the best Friday of the year. It's the best Friday in the world right now because it's Spirit's birthday weekend, okay? You got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. You need freedom, saving. He's a prison shaking savior. You I could feel my blood like... 
pumping. Like, girl, I could feel, oh, it's just, oh, it's just, it was amazing. It was freaking amazing. Yeah, you be like, oh, and then, then you do the ankle, then do the knee, then get to the thigh child. I was like, ah, ooh, <laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice freaking squeeze. That was a nice squeeze, y'all. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> See, even though when I'm driving, I might not say what I'm looking at, but I'm watching everything. Front, back, left, and right. Even in the corner of my eye. I'm paying attention to stuff. What happened with my phone? Like, what happened that to the point where my phone barely wants um, to come on? It's doing whatever it want to do. I'm going to go home. I'm going to charge my camera real good. It's, I don't charge this up to a hundred past a hundred. Well, not past, you know, it's not gonna go no past that. It's so gonna say full, but it's just it's not coming on. It blinks in and out. The white mist ain't pretty thick. It's good. A truck, somehow or another, the wheel came off. And the truck hit the the ground and and swerved into like the uh, the edge of the road, and the truck kind of leaned it like like that, and it must have came to a sudden stop, y'all, because by the time we got past the truck and we was like, oh no, a truck had an accident. We got to the end of it, it was a car underneath it, like windows gone, hood. It was tragic. I got two of the two for five fish sandwiches, right? I knew it was going to be small. That's why um, I, I wanted two. Because I'm hungry. I'm actually really hungry right now. I put like one or two of Nadine's fries. Oh, it looks good, y'all. Mm, don't it look good? Oh, I'm about to tear this up. Just do him a cookie. Oh. I saw him coming out the woods and cooking some food. He said, Ooh, what is this? It's good. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. Oh, he's looking at chocolate. <laughs> he said, Oh my god, what the freak? I don't know what that's like. Oh, so cute. He's so hungry. Oh my goodness, I knew that's right. What a morning, what a way to start the morning. This is too cute.
It's going on in the afternoon. Ooh, I, I tried to get me. I tried to get me. I tried to get me some good sleep. It was uh, hard. I kept tossing and turning last night. But um, eventually, uh, my phone died. We forgot the charger. It was in a car. And then we had a charger. But the chargers for the iPhone now, when you get them new, come with this little tiny not the regular USB port, it come with a little tiny one. So the hotel room didn't have that port for us to charge our phone. And Nadine didn't feel like, she didn't feel like watching TV. So uh, we both just kind of looked at the news and uh, I think we watched a little bit of something before her phone died. My phone died first. I just got out the shower and um, Nadine had turned off the AC for me. She went to go put some stuff um, in the car. I don't know what's taking her so long. She usually um, kind of fast. This, this is kind of a long time and I don't have a phone. Kind of feeling a little worried that I can't call and see if everything is okay. Um, but I finished getting dressed and everything and I said I would talk to y'all for a minute. This wasn't the original hotel we were supposed to stay at. We had the Hampton Inn. And it's decent, you know. Um, I'm not going to complain too much about the Hampton Inn because they, the customer service was really nice and um, they had a room for us and we didn't get here till 12 because we made reservations at our hotel, which was the Holiday Inn because we signed up for um, this discount thing with Holiday Inn. So we don't stayed at the Holiday Inn maybe about, maybe about eight times. And out of the eight times, half of the time, we had issues with the Holiday Inn. The main issue is about the room being clean and um, the customer service with dealing with the rooms when they're not clean. So um, because each time we learned something, we would do things differently. So this time, when we call and make our reservation, Nadine go see the room and make sure that it's clean. Um, the time before this one, she checked the room and it was decent wherever we was at. And then, you know, we traveling throughout different states. But 
right now we're in Houston. And the reason why we're in Houston at the Holiday Inn is because it's my birthday. It's supposed to be at the Holiday Inn. It's my birthday weekend. Plus, we don't have our beds anymore. We only have the blow-up bed. And the blow-up bed is not comfortable. Our beds are in storage. And Nadine wanted me to feel comfort for my birthday. So we was going to stay like a good three days. Um, but we weren't able to stay three days because the Holiday Inn... I mean, the Hampton Inn is more expensive than the Holiday Inn. So with the Holiday Inn, you have this discount card. So if it comes to like $120 um, after taxes, you get like $5 off. But when they add everything, it comes to like, it comes to about $140 something. Then they take off $5 or something like that. We thought they would take off more than that, but it's only $5. So it's not probably even worth that. And if the rooms are not going to be clean and the customer service is just going to be downright nasty, it's not even worth the discount. So... Um, Nadine went and she checked the room and we were tired, y'all. We were just so tired. We just could not wait to get to the hotel after everything we did. Um, w when she got uh, up there, it was here in the shower, here on the sink, here on the toilet, here on the floor, just nastiness. And it was dirty. It was like dirty, like, like dirt, not like mildew dirty, like dirty, like dirt. Like they didn't clean the bathroom. They didn't clean anything. So Nadine said, oh no. So she sent me a video. And I said, I told her, oh, no. So she, before she even sent me a video, she was already at the front desk telling them she didn't want that, 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 that the room was dirty. So the lady told her, um, uh, she was telling me that the lady looked at her like, like that. So Nadine's like, okay, this is awkward. Um, the room was dirty. There's hair everywhere. It's nasty. And she's like, well, um, I'm the only one here at the hotel. There's nobody cleaning the room. So Nadine was like, okay, I don't want that room. Okay, well, we have one on the third floor. And, you know, Nadine always tried to get the first floor because it's difficult for me uh, to move around when I'm in pain. Uh, on a good day, I can do a whole bunch of walking. But on a, on a day that I've been traveling and I'm tired and we've done, done a lot and I'm going through something, you no, know, i just coming out of my lip being uh, a braise uh, across the face. I'm just coming out of that. So it's still taking me time to build up my energy again to be able to like really function pretty normal. So then uh, the lady says on third floor, and Nadine said, okay, well, we just gonna have to get on the elevator. We'll take out time. We'll make it. Nadine go to the third floor. She check it. Girl, oh my God. The room was worse than the first one. It was terrible. So Nadine said, the, the room haven't been cleaned. And the lady looking at her like, so Nadine's like, okay, I don't want the room. So she's like, well, I'm not going to be able to give you a refund or give you a cancellation. And Nadine was like, well, what does that mean? She's like, I'm just canceling that you don't want the room canceling. I'm canceling. She said, okay. So Nadine thinking, okay, canceling means it's done. They're giving us our money back. So the lady told Nadine she charged her one seventy seven. Fifty dollars was for if the room is not okay, it's a deposit, and then with taxes, and we didn't, and they didn't even honor the discount. So uh, Nadine was like, "Can you give me a receipt that is um, uh, receipt since you charged me?" She's like, "No, I can't give you a receipt." She said, "I ripped it up already." And Nadine looking at her like, "You ripped it up." She's like, "Yeah, I ripped up your receipt. I'm gonna give you this paper, and on the paper just had like." to like text now you can do a text message on on you uh like a little like a little circle and the little quote box had that up there and it was plain and then it had some number at the bottom but that was it, it was like a random paper so nadine called management at holiday inn 
and uh, they put her to guest relations. And the guest relations said that only the hotel is able to give us a refund. So Nadine said, so I didn't get a refund. He said, no, they just put in the camps, but they're not giving you back your money. Um, I'm going to contact a manager and let them know what happened. And Nadine said, could you repeat what I told you? He said, yeah. You said you went up to the room, checked the room. It was dirty. And she told you she didn't have nobody else to clean the room. And you said, okay, I don't want that. So she canceled the room and she canceled it out, but she didn't give you a refund. And Nadine said, yeah, so am I going to get a refund? He said, I don't know. We have to talk to the manager. The manager's going to give you a call. So they said the hotel manager got to call us in order to, for them to refund our money. And we're sitting up there like, you know, because, you know, um, not everybody have $177 gifts. Sometimes that could be your only life. That was our only last money, and we had nowhere to go. We would be outside. We would be outside, so I was livid. I was upset, but I had to try to like stay calm because I already started swelling. I already didn't feel good, and it's my birthday weekend. I'm a, I'm a, I'm upset because I'm so sick of them charging you, charging us holiday prices and giving us motel quality, and and the, some motels probably cleaner than the Holiday Inn. Every time we go into a room, we got to talk to them about the room being dirty. And before that, Nadine, uh, the lady told, Nadine called downstairs and told them that the bathroom was dirty and our beds had hair all in the bed, like somebody done used it. And then they're going to say, well, just bring the blanket downstairs. So Nadine go downstairs, she get a new blanket, and she's um, talking to the girl, telling her how bad the room is. And the girl telling her, well, you're going to have to wait till the morning. Just come in the morning and talk to the manager. Nadine get down there. It's an Indian man. And... He um, basically is like blank as she's talking to him. And then he says, well, um, I'm not going to accommodate. I'm not going to discount. I'm not going to give you your money back. And Nadine said, but I, he's like, did you ask for another room? And he said, Nadine said, no, I didn't ask for another room. I immediately went downstairs and just said, my room is dirty. My uh, blankets and sheets are dirty. He's like, well, um, I should have asked for another room. But we're not going to give you no refund. We're not going to give you no discount. And Nadine said, so you're not going to accommodate anything. They said no. And he was rude. When I tell you he was on the fence, he was on the fence like we did something terrible to him. He was very angry. And it just made us feel so bad. So Nadine said, okay, mom, next time before I go in the room, I'm not going to have that happen to us. And they're not going to take our money like that no more. I'm going to check the room. So this time she checks the room. And they still take our money and not give us back our money. You know, but now we got to... I told Nadine we can call the credit card company and put in a dispute, and hopefully the manager, Nadine, get in contact with the manager this morning and see if they're going to refund our money. It just don't make any sense, y'all. It just don't make no sense. So we came over to the Hampton Inn, and we were able to get clean beds and a, a pretty decent clean place. And not only that, when I got here, the young ladies at the customer service or reception desk was just, was just very polite, very sweet, very kind, very uh, professional. And they just, they, they just was very kind people. And it just felt good that we was able to leave one bad place and come to another one. And it's, and we got good customer service, but we had to end up paying $300 for two nights. And that took like a um, hundred dollars out of my birthday money because, because, you know, we're trying to scratch um, my birthday money so that I can be able to like do the things I want to do and get the things that I want to get. There are some things I want. There are some things I want to do. And I, you know, whenever I, I want to do it, it's because of my birthday. I want to treat myself nice. And I don't like the fact that I lose part of my money, uh, dealing with the hotel. So me and Nadine made a conscious decision said, okay, they're not honoring the discount. They lied about that. I don't even know if we paid for extra to have that or not, but um, we decided, okay, no matter what, we're just not going to mess with the Holiday Inn. We're not going to mess with them. We're not going to go in there. We're not going to keep going through the same thing. Now, it's one thing. You go check the room, and it's nasty, and they say they're going to clean it, or they're going to get you another room. And then um, and it's another thing. They say, oh, well, I'm so sorry. Let me make sure I don't charge your card. Make, make sure I give you a refund. But to tell us that 
They can't give us a receipt. Be nasty about it. Be mean about it. And then we call customer service. What's the point of calling their customer service if they can't do anything for you and still tell us we got to wait for a manager after everything we went through, after everything we explained, we still got to wait for the manager. And they say, oh, it's up to the manager if they want to give the money, if they want to give the money back. So if they don't give me the money back, I'm going to lose a, a, another $177. That's going to be almost $300 in one night that I lose if I don't get that money back. So... Now, um, I'm on my way um, to um, check my P.O. box and uh, pick up my pack birthday packages and i um, going to be meeting up with Dream today and me and Nadine taking care of some stuff today. Um, I know that we got to do laundry. We got stuff to do. So um, I'll talk to y'all some more later on. I just want to tell y'all my feelings and how I feel. You know, I got to let y'all know what's going on. So now I got to cheer myself back up because I am a little disappointed. I am disappointed. One, I didn't want to spend extra money uh, for the hotel. And then two, I don't like the fact that I had to spend money on top of my money and now I got to wait to see if I'm going to get a refund. And it may take, it, I don't know how long it may take before I get a refund or if I'm going to get one. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm so over it right now and I'm so upset about it. So now I'm getting ready. Let me put on my shoes. And um, start getting myself together. I'll talk to y'all in the car. Y'all see my disappointed face. I'm so disappointed. I was about to go live on Facebook, spend some time with my SOLs. Um, thank everybody for being there for me and helping me reach my goal with my GoFundMe for my birthday. And just want to just like be there. You know how every year I do it for my birthday. I'm live. And just show up and surprise y'all. Man, it took everything to get inside my Facebook yesterday. I did everything, follow all the steps. I go, click on my Facebook, and they say um, my three-year like anniversary of, 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 of a post, right? And they say share your post on your feed. So I shares it. And then they come back with, oh, you need to secure your account. Um, put in your... Um, send code or whatever and he sends it to the old old phone that i had already canceled out that i'm already done with i don't already updated my facebook and everything and and i cannot get in the phone i can't do nothing i can't leave a message i can't talk to nobody i can't do anything and everything was just fine yesterday and i was so excited about today i was so excited about today and i'm really like i was like if day is the hotel okay and then now this like i'm gonna have to shake it and i was supposed to go to see barbie we went to the movie theater to see barbie me nadine and dream got, dream was meeting us there we get there it's packed people are already sitting all outside it's already packed the parking lot is part, barely no parking space so i tell stream that that's not i don't want to do that i don't want to be in a crowded movie theater and i'm not already feeling that great so dream tells me to meet him here i'm at like this place called shoe ball hut i don't know if he's taking me to getty's pizza or shoe ball hut i don't know what he's doing he probably don't know that i'm not eating cheese no more but i don't know I'll, i'm waiting for dream now when he get here i find out where he's taking me he told me not to eat my um impossible burger as i stopped and i was gonna eat my burger before i go in the movie theater so i wouldn't have to spend no money on that expensive food um, and but not be hungry you know what I'm saying so I'm not gonna eat my burger I'm gonna try to calm down and just hope that my phone come on I, right now I feel so sad inside I'm, I'm really upset like I don't like when stuff like this like when I need things to go right I just need it to go right because I'm already feeling such a low you know I'm already feeling such a low and and I just gotta shake it off y'all but I'll be back so this is where Dream taking me. <laughs> he come walking, he come driving past me, and I'm like, where is he going? So we decided to follow him. So we're going to go Shabu. Mmm. The food look good. We'll see. Racing Nadine around the car trying to give her a hug. Oh y'all, it's hot. Dream, come say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog. What's up, y'all? What's going on? <laughs> Make sure you're tuning in to DreamXOVisual.com. You know I got to put my plug in. 
and go over to Dream XO Visual. We got a big project coming, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be hot. Dream taking me out for my birthday, y'all. I'm so excited. Y'all, this is so freaking cool. I'm all to freaking pieces. We give it a cookout on food. The Asian food place. They got a soju there. And it's like 42%. Alcohol and this little bottle. And that's all you need. And, and it's good. It tastes good. So it gets you going real fast. Because you're drinking like juice. But you gotta remember that. Okay, so the lady went to go get us some sake. I'm getting unflavored sake. I'm so excited. Dream says strong. I had the apple on the beach. Happy birthday. This is my gift card. Yeah, read the top. Made with love by Dream. Oh. The battery by the battery. I know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, this is the purple makeup uh, apron. Oh, Dream, that's so cute. Oh, look. <laughs> and look, it says made with love. Yeah. Made with love, y'all. <laughs> Dream made it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to do an ASMR video so I can show y'all, really show y'all to make sounds with it. <laughs> Spirit would do something like that. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. She's all about thank you. Hold on, guys. Crack it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's a up. How do you know I'm gonna make bread? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's cute though. Make it love by Yeah, I'm trying out the sake. Oh, so this have it's a for the soup. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have a no limit. Okay, good. So this is the miso tonkatsu curry mm. right here. There's the spicy tomato and some beef. Mm. So I'll just do it's one. Strong and good. It's, that's the unflavored. It's good. Nah, I tried the curry. My face is like literally stuck.
No, no sweet sauce. Uh, what? Poison sauce? No, poison. I thought you had got me, um... Yeah, here garlic. Yeah. Garlic. Okay. Taste it, put your finger in there and lick it. This lobster. No, no, I ain't gonna do that. Right. Yeah. Cause you know if it was me. You know. Maybe you could dip your fork she just for me in my soup, and I wouldn't have a problem. So my soup tastes better than yours. It 
taste like curry. See? <laughs> Do it taste like peanut butter? It tastes like curry. He be lying so hard. Like, mm. <laughs> like <laughs> see? Ooh, she said mine tastes good. I'm going to taste some. I'll pour some of that all over my crab. That's good. See? Mm -hmm. He's trying to play me. Uh-uh. Put some in there. Put your spoon in there. Okay, get it. He, he wants his to taste better so bad. And it don't. <laughs> Mommy, be honest. That mug good. Nah. <laughs> nah. 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 <laughs> I think I like their beans for fancy. You know what? I do. Yours is yours is actually really, really good. But if I had to bake on an upscale dish, it would be made in like a home feel good comfort dish. So dreams taste like soul food. Mm -hmm. And mine tastes like what? That's good. Let me get one more spoon, Jay. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Taste in dunes and everything you ooze The tempo of your being You bleed a melody And no one can control That old time rock and roll My rule of gravity And hey Can I follow you Back to your room Watching you bloom In the light of the moon Can I follow you Back to your arms Wash it all Songs that I learned to sing Watching you bloom in the light of the moon Your loneliness will never be lost on me So reach out in love and don't be a stranger That's the price. It's between me and they think a dream model you look. So I'm gonna say 10, 20, 30, um, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 85, 95. I'm gonna say 106. One oh, no, let me say 108. Go ahead, Nadine. What's your guess? I'm gonna say 90. Wait, wait a minute. How are you gonna say 90? You ain't even count nothing up. You, you just undercutting me. What? Let me start over. Oh, wait, wait. No, because it's tax. I gotta remember. It's tax, right? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna say 25, 50, 75. I'm gonna say 85, 90, 95, 105. I'm gonna say 106, 87. Say one twenty. Yeah, who won? <laughs> oh my God, man! I said ninety. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did good, mommy. I won. You did good. I did good. I'm so good at this. Uh, 104. Mm -hmm. oh, very cool. Dang. You did good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, mommy being ticklish. Look, look, stop me. I'm not even doing nothing. Okay, don't tickle me. Okay. I'm not tickling you. Okay, all right. I'm giving you a hug. Okay.
Who's he doing? Okay. okay. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> Draw safe, okay? Yeah, thank you, Jamie. Everything if you feel nice. tired, pull over, okay? Okay. Can't promise tomorrow Are you gonna fall out of day? We can tangle it away Now I'm here